Shavua Tov. A good book. I want to tell story number 83 of the Shibchi of Hashem Tov. The title of the story is Tfilin Shelo Hayuk Matan Miyemei Ezra HaSofer. Tfilin that there were none like those since the days of Ezra, the Sofer, the scribe, the biblical Ezra. Now, last week I told a story of this Rabbi Yitzchak, who in the middle of an argument was able to tell that the tefillin shel rosh, the head tefillin of this other person, were possible or not kosher, just by looking from the outside. So the story says, and it also happens that this Rabbi Yitzchak recognized the tefillin shel rosh, the head tefillin, where they were psulin on someone else. How so? He was homebound because he was weak and ill in the last days of his life and he would gather a minion in his house to pray instead of going to shul he was homebound but people would come and he would have them there and then there was somebody who, among the people who came to make the minion in his house a man from the city whose name i think was Reb, was Reb Beirich, who says i think the author of the ship hebel shemtov right he's telling the story he says i think the man's name was Reb Beirich. After the tefillah, after the davening, the prayer, Rabbi Yitzchak looked at him and said, Rabbi Yitzchak, I think your tefillin are possible. The man took them off his head and gave them to a soifel, who opened and checked them and figured that this tefillin had originally been possible when they were written. There was some mistake in the original writing of the tefillin. These were the tefillin he got for his bar mitzvah, and the man was now 60 years old. He was really anguished because that meant that he had never properly kept the mitzvah feeling his whole life since bar mitzvah. He had kept those feeling that came from a good sofer and now they found out they were puzzled all along. So he begged from Rabbi um, Yitzchak, Rabbi Yitzchak, please write feeling for me. Rabbi Yitzchak promised he would. But because he was weak and ill, he delayed this from day to day until one day he wrote the parishes of that feeling, that the content of the scrolls that go inside that feeling, he wrote all of them. And then he went to the home of Rav Beirich. Remember, he was homebound. He made the effort to go and said to Rav Beirich, do not say that I didn't write the parishes of feeling during my days. Not only so, not only this, but since the days of Ezra until today, no one has ever written feeling like this quality since the days of Ezra. Two hours later, Rabbi Yitzhak passed away and his soul left this world. This Rabbi Yitzhak was the brother of Rabbi Yosef of Kamenka. Both of his brothers had a mother whose story, Be'ezrat Hashem, I'll tell next week. I'm telling stories of Baal Shem Tov from the book Shibchi Baal Shem Tov every week in order. Um, with the hopes to have the book told. And also I am translating each of the stories in writing into Spanish with the hopes to edit and publish the entire book for the first time in Spanish language. I appreciate all contributions, link below, please like, share, come back, Shavua Tov, a good